All right, what's going on guys? Today, we are going to do the brakes on the Humvee. Um, if you saw in the last video, the brakes were re put in, turned around, and one was like upside down. So we gotta fix that today. Also, we are going to be putting up the transmission with the flex, uh, the flex plate that was broken. So those are the two things, uh, the two main things we're gonna be doing today. And yeah, I already did PT. So we did like a bar exercise, like um, calisthenics, like pull-ups, chin-ups, uh, variations of the grips. And that was today's PT. Um, you know, muscle failure Monday, or muscle failure is usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Today's Wednesday. And, but we, we ran yesterday also. So that's why we didn't do it today. But if you guys are stoked on these videos, set my daily, make sure you subscribe, give it a like and comment down below what else you guys want to see on the channel. Cause I can just post, you know, what I'm doing motor pool every day. But if you guys want to see something specific about the motor pool or about the army in general, or about, you know, anything related to automotive, I can show you that. And I have big plans coming next week. There is something that will hopefully change the channel for the better. So if you guys are stoked on that, um, subscribe for more. Remember in the last, if you guys remember in the last video, showing you guys these brake pad and calipers. And this one is, yeah, I can stick my finger between there. It's like out, the bottom one's in. So I'm gonna need to push that back before I put new ones in. Also the other side is facing the wrong way. It's gonna have to go that way. This side seems fine. Um, I might change it. Well, I'm not sure how many pads I have, but this one for sure is going to get changed. But I'm pretty sure I have pads for both sides, but I have to check for parts. But basically, it's like this, this side is larger. So the pin comes through and then it's held in with this. 
the pad should just come out. All right, just took the bottom bolt out of the caliper and loosened the bleeder. Couldn't get it out through the back. So we opened it up like a clam and dropped it out through the bottom. So we're gonna put this bolt back on, get the new pads and then put it in through the back like we sh or the person before us should have done. This is the, uh, the flex plate from the last video that I just put up. Um, so Devo was able to put the transmission up and we have a lot connected right now. We're putting the cross member up right now. Um, that's about it. <laughs> Thought there was more. That oil. Well, a lot of the bolts are like missing, so it's slowing us down, but we're gonna replace it with newer ones then. But yeah, this one was uh, the broken flex plate one. The snow is finally starting to melt. So it's 37, which is the warmest it's been in a very long time. Like the roads are finally clear, which I haven't been in a while. All right, just an update. We just got the front drive shaft connected. Just nut and bolt, nut and bolt. And we have to get those few bolts in. Front cap. And there's um, nuts for the rear cap. Uh, Debo's getting the rear drive shaft in and the, um, oh, I still have to tighten or this one, I forgot about this. So we were missing one and tightened all these down and now this one won't thread. So I'm going to have to uh, loosen these just so they can get enough wiggle room to thread the last one in. You can see all the other ones are tight. So that's where we're at with that. Also, Gotta hook up these wires, get the shift linkage connected, um, exhaust, um, and that's it. And hopefully it'll be done by today. It's the goal, currently. All right, so this truck is cold, by the way, and the coolant is like overfilling pretty much. So this is where it's supposed to be when it's cold, and this is where it is right now. So it needs to take out like two quarts or something. But we need to take this thing off the stand so we can put up the starter. No, 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 no. So this thing needs the to connect the front drive shaft and put the um, the O-ring on the dipstick tube, the transmission dipstick tube. As you can see, it's not connected. It's not even up here. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. That's the dipstick tube. I don't know where the dipstick is. See, it's like hanging around. So it needs to be put in. Um, what else needs to be connected? That's about it. So, get this thing done. All right, update video. Got the linkage on. Got the linkage on. Um, need a quarter pin for this. So, this still needs to go in. Um, the transmission, all of the electrical is connected. Mm. So I'll have to do this torque converter bolt and the exhaust and the starter still. So once all those things are done, this truck would be done. We only have an hour. All right, so it's after work and right now I am at the exchange. Um, and so during lunch, we went to Maggie's on the Mountain, which is a restaurant at the exchange. Um, by the second brigade building so i'll show you guys that uh, it's, it's right here maggie's is like right the sign's like right there right there that's a sign and this is the exchange but um 
I'm just grabbing stuff for like snacks and whatever. Um, but yeah, that place is really good. So also we ended up finishing up the um, everything that we needed to. I just, I had to leave early, like half an hour early and then Debo ended up finishing it up actually. Um, he just had to put up the starter the or just wire it up actually so only thing that's left on that truck is the batteries need to be connected and the it needs coolant and we're just going to check the fluids um so i like to do anytime a truck goes out that had a big job done to it you always want to know like what the the situation with the fluids and whatnot is so the um the operators for that vehicle are going to come down and do all that so until then, that's just it. <laughs>